Good morning and a happy Thursday morning to you guys. All right. Um, as I told you before, instead of three videos, I'm doing two. So this is a little bit longer because there's like four or maybe even five stories. I can't remember in here, but there's a lot to cover as is usual. So let's jump in and get it done, shall we? Let's go. Tyler Perry had his birthday on September 13th, but he had his party on September 14th, the day before Harry was having his party. Tyler Perry was turning 55 years old. Now, some pictures were taken of Harry and Meghan actually as they were leaving the party. Uh, they were the only ones who apparently had security and drivers. Everybody else drove themselves. If you look to the left, what you notice is that Harry is actually holding a cell phone in his hand. So everybody else apparently was able to come and go without any difficulty and had their pictures taken. But Harry, I'm guessing, felt threatened. And that's why he felt like he needed to tape all of this. And as for Megan, it must be hard to force a smile on your face like that 24 hours a day if you think somebody's going to take your picture because that's pretty much what she's doing as far as I can tell. Nobody, they said, could tell through the window what Megan was wearing. I'm not exactly sad about that. They were driven in, the article says I was right, by a professional driver. They were accompanied by security as well as an unknown friend in the back seat. So my thought process is, who is this unknown woman in the back seat who actually has her hand up and is trying to block her face? Let's zoom in a little closer. This is not the best photo of her. The next photo, however, shows her face a little closer. I don't recognize her, but I think she's an employee, which would make sense because she was at the Alliance for Children thing, you know, that they had gone to that morning. There she is. So I think she's one of the new Archwell employees. Lots of other people were seen coming and going from this party. Some were very easy to identify. Others, I have absolutely no clue who they were, but I'm going to put their pictures up anyway, just in case you're able to identify them. So in one car, Oprah Winfrey was seen driving in with Gail King and Alicia Keys was in the back. They were all arriving together, looking good. Paramount CEO Brian Robbins and his wife Tracy, you remember them from the film premiere in Jamaica? Now, I could be totally wrong on this one. That looks like Jennifer Hudson to me, but I'm not 100% for sure. And I have absolutely no clue who these people are in these car. So if you guys can identify them, let me know. The house the party was held in had six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 8,379 square feet. The article, however, did not say if the house was actually owned by Tyler Perry or if it was, you know, like a rental house for the party. There were rumors, and I'm saying rumors because they said that they could hear a voice that sounded like Harry making a speech during the celebration. They said there was a lot of dancing and singing and music, which, you know, sounds right for a birthday party. The party appears to have gone from about 7 to 11. All I can really comment on as far as the day goes is they were gone all day to the tennis event and then they were gone at night to the party. Still absolutely no children spotted anywhere. All right, let's move on. Next up, a blind item came out, which really kind of caught me, you know, my attention because it said this permanent A-list actress who starred in an iconic role was asked about Meghan Markle one day because they did work together for a couple of minutes. And apparently the actress said that she told, you know, the illiterate one, if she stepped out of line again and was nasty to the assistant of another actor on the set, that she would have her fired. I believe that that's Jennifer Aniston from Friends. Let's move on now to Harry and his inheritance. It's reported that he got between seven and eight million pounds. Eight million pounds is like ten and a half million dollars. So we know that the Queen Mother put 19 million pounds into a trust fund for the royal family before her death. I'm a little shocked by that because several people have noted to me, and I have heard before that when she passed, she was literally broke because she loved to shop. Each brother apparently got their money when they turned 40, 
And it was estimated that Harry got a bigger share of the money because William, as heir to the throne, has got the Duchy of Cornwall, which is the private estate, which makes a lot of money. It was also reported that Meghan wanted the Duchy of Cornwall split between the brothers and the royal family said uh, no. It's being reported anyway that Harry plans on taking all of this money and putting it away for his children. I question that. He has huge attorney's fees he has to pay and fines and things. I just don't think that financially he can afford to do that. But I mean, who knows what he's actually going to do with the money. We'll see. I also couldn't help but notice that the information was put out by a quote unquote source close to them. Again with the sources. All right, let's move on. Going back to Harry's birthday, Nacho finally got around to putting something up on social media to celebrate Harry's birthday. So he puts up this picture of himself with his arm around Harry and they're laughing. And in the caption, Nacho said, happy 40th brother from the polo fields to all the moments in between. I'm grateful for the bond we share. Here's to many more laughs, memories and good times ahead. Love you. We are well aware that these two are close friends, but there's something just really odd about their relationship. Here they were at a polo match with their wives. They had their arms around each other, and suddenly, here it is again, Harry starts rubbing Nacho's hand. It's the oddest thing. And then, of course, there was that time that they were in Japan, and they were playing polo for Centibale. So... Of course, Harry's team, which I, I find it hard to believe that Harry's team won against a professional polo player. I, I don't know what that's about. I think that's done intentionally, but whatever. They come down, they stand there to, to get their pictures taken with the trophy. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, Harry decides he's going to blow a kiss at Nacho. I mean, I, seriously, I, I understand the whole bromance thing, but these two literally take it to another level. I'm never quite sure what the heck is going on with them. You guys already know what I, I mean, I've said to you before what I think. Friends is one thing, but I don't know what to make of these two. I really don't. All right, moving on. All right, here we go. The whole birthday photo. Did they or did they not crop Meghan Markle out of the picture? People were like up in arms. Was she or was she not cropped? Here, what, here's what we know. He was sitting right next to her at the table. The picture, I, you know, they're, they, I think this is like a word salad thing. They didn't crop her out. They just zoomed in on him. You get it? But so the palace is saying we did not crop her out of the photo. The image was not altered. It was used in the format it was received. So basically they took the picture, they zoomed in on him, and, and that's the end of it. Why should she be in it anyway? It was his birthday. She does not have to be in every picture. All right, let's move on to our last story. We're going to finish up with this bullying stuff again. I did a video, actually two videos on this the other day. People are saying that Megan has earned the name Duchess Difficult because, you know, she terrifies the staff. We've already discussed this. But one royal expert says this is just like what he wrote about Megan in the past. It's got echoes of the same thing. Valentine Lowe, he's the author that wrote Courtiers. I, he gave an interview and I played it for you in the other video. He's the one whose report on the bullying claims prompted the investigation. He has now spoken out about the new allegation saying, and I'm quoting, it does have some glaring and fascinating echoes of everything I wrote and that others have written about Megan. She clearly has certain standards, but on the other hand, the demands she makes of people may not always reflect what's possible. She may demand too much. I don't think Harry and Meghan are in the business of either listening to anyone else or changing. All I can say is, you guys, where there's smoke, there's fire. And 18 staff members on both sides of the ocean is just a lot. Obviously, something's going on. I don't know that we'll ever know the exact truth, but, well, there you go. Now I'm finishing up with Finn, my dog, for those of you who don't know. And if you don't want to see it, then, you know, okay. But I went to Chick-fil-A the other day. He was in the car. And I did not know that Chick-fil-A has pup cups. I always thought pup cups is something you get from the ice cream store. And the guy is taking my order and he sees Finn in the back seat and goes, Does, you know, do you want a pup cup for your dog? I'm like, sure. It basically was just a cup filled with whipped topping. But Finn absolutely loved it. 
So for those of you who have dogs, uh, and if you go to Chick-fil-A, you can get your dog a pup cup. All right, you guys, you know what to do. Hit the like and the subscribe button and then go down into the description box and you'll find the link to follow me over to video two. Let's go. Oh,